Hi, I'm Crystal Lambert, and this is my arts integration presentation. Power, how can power both destroy and create? This is for sixth grade, subjects English, language arts, fine arts, science, and social studies. Project summary, our students will consider power and its ability to both destroy and create. They will be introduced to the artwork Tigers with Arrows by Sai, Sai Guaocheng through the power of gunpowder. Sai creates this piece of art by destroying paper. Students will then analyze Sai's life to consider what has influenced his use of this medium. Power will also be investigated scientifically by taking matter and observing the thermal changes. Through societal lens, students will observe Adolf Hitler's use of powder. Power. The last aspect that will be reported in the presentation is an original art piece by students inspired by artist Sao Wai Chong. Here are the Arkansas State Standards and guiding questions for the project. Power, how can power both destroy and create? Here you see a picture of Tigers with Arrows by Sao Sai. This is the artist Sai. In this milestone, students were introduced to Sai's work through lecture and the use of virtual tools. Bo, in his exit ticket, um, they, students were given a Google Classroom that they worked inside. And um, one of the exit tickets um, was making statements like Bo's here. I like that he used something he heard every day to make art. I like the effect gunpowder does on the drawing. It's interesting how he used something violent to make something beautiful. It is cool that he basically proved you can make art with anything. Kira goes on to say, I think a large part of his project projects are things that would normally be destructive and turns them into something beautiful. Gunpowder, for example. Growing up during the communist rev revolution, gunpowder was associated with violence and destruction. Later on in his life, he uses the same medium in his artwork as a form of coping, in a sense, controlling the substance that took his childhood from him. Next, students will, as a milestone, work in small groups to create an original work inspired by artist Sai Guao Chong. You're going to see a slow motion version of what happened to create their explosive art. So artist Sai, um, the students, as they were investigating him, decided that gunpowder may not be the best uh, way to replicate his artwork. But Sai also does lots of amazing artwork using gunpowder, but in firework form. So they decided to take his firework um, displays as inspiration. It's still explosive. Um, but they uh, wanted this splatter art for their explosion and they used effervescent tablets, Alka-Seltzer, with a small amount, a tablespoon of water with a small amount of paint and they watched the pressure build up inside the bottle once it's capped and explode. <clears throat> So then we looked at social studies and for social studies, their milestone was to research Adolf Hitler's use of power to determine if it was used to create or destroy. And of course, they were able to determine that he used it to destroy. Um, he brought on World War II. Um, one thing that students, these students learned through this project was they were able to see him as a person before. Um, you know, Sai used gunpowder as a medium because it was something he related to as a child. Um, they linked Adolf Hitler with Sai because of his tumultuous, list, tumultuous beginning, his rough upbringing, um, where Hitler embraced war and use it for destruction by being responsible for the murder of six million Jews. They stated that Sai used that to create something beautiful. Here in science, students as a milestone will determine the change in kinetic energy by taking the temperature of matter during investigations. 
This is their language arts standard. Students will present to parents what they have learned about the use of power to both destroy and create. They decided to use PowerPoint as um, their digital tool. You can see in the center, they named it Power for Better or Worse. Um, the poster in the back is their artwork, the letter L with their explosive display around it. Um, there's pictures of Bo presenting about Hitler, um, kinetic energy, and together with their artwork. Okay, so what they were talking about, the art, the artwork Bo was describing, um, is the white tone at the bottom of the screen to your right. A white tone is commissioned for the Great Animal Orchestra exhibit. Um, and that was created in 2016. It's a gunpowder on paper um, artwork. It was inspired, now this is an artwork by Sai, but it was also inspired by one of his previous installations. Um, and that is at the top of the screen, you see Heritage, which was commissioned for the Falling Back to Earth exhibit at Queensland Gallery of Modern Art in 2013. He used that, which is life-size replicas of animals that he created at a watering hole. Um, and it's both predators and prey coming and humbling themselves for water at the same time. So he used that as inspiration to create his gunpowder artwork. So about this whole project, um, I absolutely loved it. Um, one of the reasons I used a group project, um, you will notice, yes, I did have my older child um, working with Bo. Bo is on the autism spectrum and he tends to become overwhelmed and deal in dealing with anxiety when doing presentations alone. And yes, that is something, there are some standards that require individual work. Um, this was not one of those moments. So I felt that it was in his best interest to use universal design for learning and allow um, group presentations and collaboration um, in this project. Thank you and have a great year.